Hi, this is Kat with Beataholic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a chain extender onto your strung jewelry. Now, I have a beautiful necklace here that I've strung up using some lovely check glass beads, but this will also work with a bracelet. Now, I have a chain extender and some jump rings here, and the only tools that we're going to need is we're going to need a pair of chain nose pliers and a pair of round nose pliers, or you can use two pairs of chain nose pliers. All right, so looking at this necklace here, this is a great little thing to do, especially if you are selling your jewelry. So what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of turn it around here to show you what I've done on the clasp. Now I have my crimp covers here, I have some uh, wire protectors, and then I've attached my lobster clasp with a jump ring on this side, and then I have an extra open jump ring on this side. So what I'm gonna do is unclasp my necklace here, now this is an open jump ring, so you have two options here. You can open this jump ring or you can add on one additional jump ring. I'm going to use the jump ring here. I just want it to look nice and sleek. So I'm going to take this in my pliers, give it a little gentle twist, just to open it just ever so slightly. And now I'm going to slip on my chain extender onto this side. And just again, just give it a little twist, make sure we get a nice, good closure. And now when I go to clasp my necklace, I can choose where I'm going to clasp it. So I can actually extend it up to about two inches here. Now I will say this is a pre-made chain extender. However, you can also do this technique using uh, whatever chain you like that will accommodate your clasp. And then you can add a little dangle, you can add a bead, you can add a charm, a little crystal. There are a lot of options to kind of make your own version of a chain extender. Also that way you're making it the exact length that you'll need. But like I said, this is a really great thing to do if you are selling jewelry. That way it gives your jewelry a little bit more versatility for the wearer so they can kind of choose where they want it to sit. And also if this ends up going down the back, that's a nice little added thing. Again, that's why I say to add a little crystal if you like. Now again, like I said, you can also add an additional jump ring here. You won't really kind of affect it, but since I have that open jump ring, I'm all set to go. If you did happen to not use thread protectors and used a closed jump ring, that's when you'd wanna add on that open jump ring. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can get all of these supplies and see even more tutorial videos by heading over to beataholic.com. And if you're new to our YouTube channel here, be sure to hit that subscribe button below to get all the latest from Beataholic.